Okay guys, it is a Saturday afternoon and we are still looking for trash. We're just on our walk. We're super lucky that council cleanup has been during our lockdown here in Melbourne. So let's see what we can find. There's a few good piles around. We just picked up so much furniture. So I'm hoping I can show you what else we can pick. Wow, look, there's bikes over there. I would love a bike. Because I could just walk at home. We literally had to walk a shelf home yesterday on our walk. I'll show you at the end of this video the haul. It was pretty funny. Okay, let's check these out. Look at these bikes. Oh, it's missing a wheel. <laughs> Bummer. I desperately need one of these. What are the batteries for it? Oh, it doesn't take batteries. So just to charge them. Made in England. How do I open it? I don't know. God. I wish the charger was here. Not in there. Okay, let's go. Okay. This looks like a juicy pile. <sighs> but it looks like all the cords have been cut off everything. Pretty much. Stop leak. These are curtains. These are plastic. Wow. Okay, guys, next stop. This is a mother's own. Oh my god. Remember these when you were a kid? Oh, this one there. Wow, that's cute. Yeah. This container is in good condition. Wow, look at that. Look at that, they're all vintage games. I should come back. These titles. Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know if they can see the... Yeah, it would be like a... Wow, look at this. This is like a little tiny quiet street. That is a good wheelbarrow, honey. Mm -hmm. awesome. mm -hmm. This TV has been here for weeks <laughs> with the remote and this poster. Um, wow. Oh, this stuff. Dogs. Oh, this stuff. oh, look at this pile over here. Oh my gosh. That print is from Kmart. Bin guys, they're only taking mattresses I think today and other waste, but I think they're leaving the steel. Which, okay, maybe another truck will come and take it. How cool is that? There it goes. Bye bye. Ah, that's cool. Yeah, I think they're leaving electrical stuff. Oh, that was good. I'm so glad we took trash out. Cool. Hey guys, I am back home now and it's the next day and you've probably seen a few clips of us um, trash picking during the week. So let's see what we found. I'm just doing a little bit of cleaning now because um, we found a lot of furniture. So all of this stuff, so it's all of this all of these, this table, this shelf, all of that, 
and this and this and we have a few more um, boxes outside all of this <laughs> was found during our walk and um, we and then we would go back and see if it was there and if it was we would pick it up um, in our car so yeah this is a lot of it so my favorite thing is this it is a really cool desk i'm just cleaning it um and it's come up pretty nice pretty nice so I've got another little drawer here and these drawers in here so that's pretty cool that was gonna go into my spare room which will now be my craft room um then this shelf we're gonna put it in our shed I think you can get these from Bunnings or Ikea, I'm not sure. Um, and it's so new, look how shiny it is. I used to have these shelves in my shoe shop. So, I mean, they're really lightweight and flimsy. You could um, screw them to the wall if you wanted to, but I don't know. I might keep it in my craft room to put fabric or to store books on, which I think is what we're going to do. This really pretty glass table. Look how nice it is. It is Ikea branded. I've already checked um very nice it's pretty good nice and sturdy i don't know what this is for if anyone knows what that is for if you could let me know that'd be lovely because <laughs> i don't know so this table we had to take it apart and let's take the glass off um and then these side tables they're pretty nice there's cobwebs in there they're pretty old um where we found these ones it was a really beautiful big old house so this is broken but we can always fix that down there and they seem to be in pretty good condition i've got to check for a mark like a maker's mark or something then we found this vacuum this is the last thing that we picked up yesterday on our walk um i don't know if it works i'm hoping it does because it'd be really handy to just clean the sofas with that then what else what else what else i'm gonna show the books i'm gonna wait till last show the books we found this sign it says welcome to maria's baby shop and we found this board so i thought pick them up um this one i can peel this this is just with contact paper i think so I can peel that and that will become a uh, like a photo background or a product background and that's just a cork board for the office. I found these yesterday. We are having big rubbish in my area so I'm super lucky that I'm still able to get stock during lockdown. And my neighbour throughout this it is a denim jacket. I don't know what brand it is. I just grabbed it yesterday. Oh, I don't know what brand it is, but it says USA on the buttons, so grab that one. This other one, I think it's wet. Yeah, look, like it's got a bit of wetness and dry on it, but look how pretty it is. I'm going to try and wash it and see how it comes up. The brand is Rice Balls. Um, and I found all of these. Look how cute this is. These are the actual spice jars that I have at home. They're from Ikea and she just threw the whole lot of them. Her little grandma. So we took those off her hands. Super happy with that. Look how many there are. There's 16 in there. So that's so cool. She also threw out all of these. So I haven't looked at this, what's in this bag. <laughs> oh my goodness, remember these giant ones? This looks like it's been in a shed or something. These are like little kitty toys. <gasps> Fluffy dies. How cute, but it's so old. A beanie baby. I don't know what that is, but it's got claws. Tigger, eel. I was attracted to the toys because I saw this. I'm pretty sure, is that? That looks like naughty. I'm not sure. What else? 
Oh, baby eel. How cute. Maybe I can put those two together or something. Um, SpongeBob. This guy, I don't know. This, Wall E. This is, let's see what year this SpongeBob is from 2010. So that's the toys. Um, and then on the rest of our walk, a few weeks ago I found this IKEA little item table and I found another one so I picked it up just for crafting and stuff. Um, a book. This leather bag. This is another one that my neighbor threw out. This little bag I picked out for my GoPro. And then just some thread, a sticky tape. So that's cool. Another neighbor had thrown this out. Then they have this. It's like a little ashes. Um, and that was really cool. These signs. How cool are they? I think I'm going to sell them as a set. I don't know. It says Adelaide, Australia. And this one. Oh, wow. Look at that. It doesn't have a year or anything. I, but they're so cool. Awesome. Then the same house had thrown this out. This is like a nail kit. So I'm pretty sure it's brand new. So that's pretty neat. Then this binding machine with the combs. Is that what you call it? Combs. So that was pretty cool. Out here is what we found yesterday on our walk. And this is it. Three tubs. The tubs are all in really good condition. So I'm going to keep the tubs after I clean them. It's kind of dusty. Yeah. They're pretty bad. All these games. I don't know if they're in here. I really hope they are. But I wanted to show you because I, I, I think this is so neat. There's such old games and puzzles. I don't know if they're in there and I'm probably not going to count every single one. I'm just going to sell it as is. I've done that before. Opened puzzles. Just I just put as is, have you counted, magic squares. Oh my gosh, look how many games there are. Honestly. Oh my well, books, I didn't know there were books. That's so cool. More books. Oh wow, photos. Oh, do I want to see these photos? Oh, okay. It's just this. The like Halloween photos are fun. You know what else is there? More books. Oh, oh. It's so windy. I'm really sorry if you can hear a little wind. So yeah, more books, more puzzles down there. Wow, more photos. Let's see. Silver chair. I think is that a copy or is that real? I don't know. Panic? Why you have this? Oh wow. Yes. Football record. Oh wow, that is so cool. What year is that from? 98. Well, that's so neat. My husband will like those. He loves the bulldogs. What else? Mr. Frosty, the game. So, this is very interesting to me. Um, yes, that's the little Frosty. Mr. Frosty Cups. It's so cool. I've never found anything as cool as this. You know? There's another 
everything. Oh, so we need this guest food from, I don't know what year this would be from. Oh my gosh. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna put this back in. Pop the lid back on. I really need to clean all this. Little road cup. Put that go in there. How cool. Um, and then right, one more top. Oh, uh, there's not much in this one. Just a puzzle and some more magic squares. I've never heard of magic squares. Does anyone know what a magic square is? For ages six to ninety-nine. Okay, variety. And another big thing. That's so cool. So that's what's in these three tubs here. There's lots of stuff, isn't there? How exciting! So I'll list those vintage puzzles and games and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna pop those there. And also in that pile, check this out. Look at this old Monopoly set. Look how little the box is. Is that a cockroach? I think it is. Oh, I'm gonna have to clean this out though, because... But look how old it is. Obviously something's been fighting it. Before I like scream. Okay, put that back. But look how cool it is. I don't know what year it's from. Doesn't say. And I've got the board for it as well. It's just here. So I don't know what has eaten this up. I really don't. It's got pen mark. It's not good look at it sticky tape in the middle but I don't know maybe a collector would want this maybe I don't know and more books the mixer cookbook look at that how cool um, another cookbook I always like finding vintage cookbooks the meat book wow <laughs> casseroles Baking, living in Australia. I guess this shows homes. No architecture. I don't know. Wood turning, wood plus woodwork. Better living, better outdoor living. This was such a cool find. I'm so glad I went back and got, grabbed it map work so that's really cool and this kitten puzzle because everybody loves cats i don't know if it's complete i'm not counting it either i will just sell it as is and hope for the best yeah i just put oh i just put that in my listing Ooh, what year made in holland oh, wow. it's pretty special We also found this trolley. How cool is this trolley here? Um, and it dismantles so it can fit in the car. Oh, because we somehow we managed to fit this white thing and this other white table in the car at the same time. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna lay these up. They're so cute. Wally. <laughs> I'm just lighting this up and I totally forgot to show you some um, other things that we found. Let's go get them. They are located out here. 
um, just underneath the carport because uh, I wouldn't put this stuff inside so we have I don't know if I've showed you this in the last videos or not I don't know but this is a uh, electric lawnmower by Aceto I think they just sell this one at Bunnings and stuff um so we found that one a while ago this one we found back in the trash um this one we just found yesterday just need petrol it looks like it's in really good condition we found a mower an electric mower by this brand before so we haven't tried it yet i'm excited because it was new in box so we know it works this one is um petrol run so that should be good it says it's a four stroke and then we found this priority a ripper snipper so yeah let's go let's go back in all right guys that's my haul i hope you liked it i'm hoping you're liking these vlogs from a few days sometimes i only pick up one or two things and it's not worth making a whole video but when i can put them all together and make a big video um i'm really liking it so let me know if you like this kind of style of videos um where it's just a mashup of trash picking and you know whatever else i get up to i think next week i'm going to film a um kind of like a what's in my shed because i've got a lot of unlisted stuff in there i've got a shed full of unlisted and another shed full of listed stuff from facebook marketplace so i think that will be pretty interesting um and yeah i better get a listing because i have so much stuff to list this pile of donations is really building up now um yeah there's a lot there so yeah guys thanks so much for watching um and if you want to see some behind the scenes i've got an instagram and a depop which i'll pop on screen now so you can have a look and yeah thanks so much for watching bye